and welcome to today's curiosity show. Hmm, service is a little slow. So let's amuse ourselves while we're waiting. Let me uh, clear the decks a bit, get those plates over there perhaps, and the coffee cup over there, and take this very substantial salt cellar made of china. If I put that there in the middle of my placemat and open out this uh, perfectly new table napkin, you can see that by wrapping that up tightly in there, I can get a good grip on the salt cellar. You can see it's securely held under there. Now I'm going to do something fairly smart with this. First of all, let's get rid of the cutlery and the placemat itself because we don't want to make a hole in that because at this stage I'm going to drive the whole thing through the table. And there it's gone. No hole in the tablecloth, no hole in the table, but it certainly went through because there it is. Isn't that remarkable? Well, as you've probably guessed, it has nothing to do with the properties of that or the table. It's all in this. Because table napkins made of paper are really quite strong things. When you put them over an object like a salt cellar and pull them tightly, they behave rather like dry papier-mâché. That is, they'll hold their shape even when the object underneath isn't there. If I lift that off, you see, it looks as if the salt cellar's in the paper, but it really isn't. So all I have to do is to drag the whole thing over off the edge of the table, muck around with the placemat, let the salt cellar fall into my lap when you're not looking, and then pretend to squash it through the table. And of course, it's in my lap, and that's where I get it from. Now, I don't think I'll ever get served here. <laughs> 